I'm doing pop culture, entertainment, things like that, and following Marilyn Manson when I can. And here's the thing. Seems like somebody with nearly 9 million followers on Instagram, who is a huge musician, is going to record with Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson and Kat Von D in the studio today. I didn't know who she was, so I had to look her up and check. And apparently she's got a pretty big following. Here we see it right here. 8.7 million followers, which is a pretty big deal. I'd say that's a lot. So she seems very successful and she wrote a very nice letter about Marilyn Manson. And I think it was a very common sense letter. I'm going to get to that in a second. But first, let's take a quick little look here. All right, quick enough. Let's see what we got. Here they are together. Here's Marilyn in the studio. And here's the letter slash post she wrote. I know firsthand what it feels like to have society come to wildly incorrect conclusions about me and having that spread out into the world leaving people believing things that couldn't be further from the truth about me. Obviously, I'm sure that's an implication about what's going on with Malin right now. Having seen evidence against the accusations against my friend, I can't in good faith just blindly burn someone at the stake just because everyone says I should. I can think for myself, and I hope you can too. Innocent until proven guilty should ring very true to us, especially after this last year. Now, I don't know where she stands on Johnny, but if that's her attitude then I'm going to guess she's on Johnny's side too. So perhaps before spewing criticism and possible gossip, even though I know it comes from a good place, it might be a good idea to keep it to yourself until you have all the information. Feel free to read the actual court documents on the link in Manson's bio, sending everyone extra love regardless. All right, so that's well written. That's what we've been saying here and on other channels and on social media for a long time. If you want to say it's your personal opinion that Marilyn did this, your personal speculation, I guess so. Obviously, you've got the right to say that. You're free to your speculation and opinion, obviously. And again, innocent until proven guilty. He has not been proven guilty. These things happened long, long, long ago. So they're very difficult to even prove in the first place, but very easy to talk about if you've at least just met him, I guess. Not to mention, he does have some pretty contradictory evidence and shows that Evan Rachel Wood, Esme Bianco, and a few others have some holes and huge contradictions in their stories. So I think if you're on the fence at the base level, you should just come to the conclusion that you don't know what happened and that's it. And this person, Mel, says that Kat lives down the street from her, and that's apparently her house. I guess it looks kind of fitting for that gothic type of style, sure. Kind of a cute dog. All right, all right, let's move on. Ryan says it's fantastic news. I'm so glad to see him recording again. And Arcane Saint says nothing, so not much here in the comments. By the way, this is from Malin Manson Uncancelled, who's doing a great job following the case from December 1st, 2022, so it's pretty new. Anyway, it's really great to see somebody with some common sense, not scared to be canceled to work with Marilyn Manson. Now, I'll say this, and I say it every time. If real evidence comes out, I'm willing to change my mind. I don't know the case as well as Johnny's case, but I haven't seen that real hardcore evidence that I just have to say, oh yeah, that's great. Marilyn Manson said that he was hitting you, not punching you. Well... If that existed, I might change my mind. But for now, gotta see more. Let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't subscribe, I'll be really sad about it, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time. <laughs>